Hello everyone, this is Whitehawk and welcome to Super Lesbian Horse RPG. Now, the actual, after Fat Pony Fantasy 6, my actual uh, game that I wanted to let's play next was uh, not this one, but uh, as it turns out, I kind of I was checking out my sellout Sunday list and I remember that uh, Doom Day 83 put this game on it and uh, I also remember that this is a decently long game. I believe it's uh, at least, well maybe roughly a half as long as Pony Fantasy 6, so it's going to be a pretty long experience, a uh, pretty long game to play. It's not going to be a, let's just make one video about this and never visit it again. Uh, anyway, Super Lesbian Horse RPG made by Bobby Schroeder, some kind of comedy game about horse shippings. Uh, and I wonder what's going to be the main ship in this game. Uh, well, uh, I pretty much did all the settings uh, beforehand, uh, before starting this uh, recording, so let's just play. Horse time, go! This is how you play the video game. Oh, F5 to toggle the window size? I should have known about that before then. Well, I'm still going to use fraps for the first recording if that's the case though. Fluttershy's Bedroom. Uh, unlike many games, there is no intro to this. You just start playing as soon as uh, you start the game. This is the bunny bed where my cute little bunny friend... Uh, let me try this again. This is the bunny bed where my cute little bunny friend Angel Bunny sleeps at night. He's not here right now, though. He's probably playing outside. Uh, yeah, I believe, do believe Angel Bunny is a he. Uh, basically, Fluttershy's Bedroom. Uh, there's lots of stuff you can look around. Uh, incidentally... You can jump on the bed just just for the explicit purpose of looking at this uh, poster right here. My limited edition autograph Rainbow Dash poster. It's number one of six. Rainbow gave everyone a poster like this last year for host Christmas. Horse Christmas? Seriously? Isn't there like a Hearts for Eve you could have used a game developer? Oh well. Uh, she then said it was just a joke, but Applejack said that was just damage control. I'm the only one who actually hung up theirs up for. Well, obvious reasons. Oh, by the way, uh, before I forget about it, the, this game uses custom art, which is really, really nice, uh, a nice detail. Uh, most uh, games that use sprite graphics uh, tend to use the uh, like uh, desktop uh, pony uh, resources uh, for that. But it's very nice that the game creator decided to make his own, as well as his own custom portraits with uh, authentic horse ears. Whoops, looks like I left my laptop on overnight. I guess I might as well check my messages on Tumblr. Maybe I got some good questions to answer. Now let's see. Five people asking for hugs. Delete. One person saying my ears are weird. That's not nice. Delete. Three people asking how I got so cute. Delete. Two homophobes. Delete. One R-rated question that I can't answer. Delete. Three very strange ponies that I should probably be worried about. Delete. Two people asking what Rainbow and I do for fun, delete. And one nice question about animals that I might actually answer. But I think I'll save this question for tomorrow. Wow, uh, yeah, yeah there was this first video is probably going to be spent uh, entirely in uh, Fluttershy's room. I keep all of my books on animals on this bookshelf. I have a lot of those. There are just so many fascinating things to learn about animals. For instance, did you know that more than half of the world's rabbits lived in North America? I don't know what a North America is, but apparently there are plenty of bunnies there that's just great. Oh, and I also keep my record collection here. I've still got all my world records that I mentioned on my blog. Pony Ivor, Colt Play, Pony West, Neutral Milk Horsetail, M Mystery Skulls on the Friendship Express, Horse the Band, all of that. But since then, I've also added some new music to my collection. I have the new disco album from Daft Pink and the latest album for Pony Managuchi, and the highly anticipated first album from Rodeo Killers. That's about it for this shelf. Wow, yep, you're more nerdy than I expected, Fluttershy. Uh, another thing I forgot to explain, this is a RPG Maker VX game, so there's obviously going to be some very limited uh, engine things going on here. The game maker said he was very proud of this g game, so... Uh, uh, I'll try not to be too judgmental for the time being and just play it. Uh, there's some other stuff you can check out here, but uh, I think I'll just proceed downstairs. The first episode is going to be decently long, but uh, let's see what's on my to-do list. Well, my New Year's resolutions are still here. I'm making good progress on a few of them, especially the funnies one. I haven't made quite as much progress on the Get Ripped one. Doesn't look like I have much to do today. How nice! I guess that means I get to take the day off. 
Oh, I know. I should spend some time with Dashi. I've been so busy lately that we haven't had a chance to spend a whole day together in weeks. And I've really missed having her around lately. Okay, shipping rule number one. When you're pairing a pony with Rainbow Dash, make sure that pony always calls her Dashi. Well, that sells it. I'll head over to Rainbow's place and see if she wants to do anything. I'm sure she'll think of something fun to do. Uh, not automatic yet. So yeah, uh, Flutter Dash is the main pairing of this uh, experience, I believe. Uh, I guess I'm okay with that. Uh, Flutter Dash is a pretty much uh, like a very suggestive, uh, not suggestive, uh, suggested and implied pairing in the actual show. Whatever. It's my official DWM poster. Yep, that's all I have to say about this corner of the house. Uh, did you forget about something, Game Creator? Can't check this window. The fireplace makes my house all warm and toasty in the winter. Also, I'm deathly afraid of going anywhere near it unless it's absolutely necessary time to get away from here. Wait, hold on. Wait, what? Also, I'm deathly afraid of going anywhere near it unless absolutely necessary time to get away from here. Uh, that's a weird phrase. Here's a nice picture of me and Dashi. We look so cute together in this one. Dashi has the same photo hanging in her house. How nice. I wonder if there are any coins between the couch cushions. Coins? Well, it, they're called bits here, but uh, why did da uh, Fluttershy call them... Uh... Wow! Why did Fluttershy call them coins instead of bits in their dialogue? I guess it sort of works, because of uh, dialogue and whatnot, but uh, I would prefer to, them to always call it bits. Mits. Bits. Here's a nice house, and I think this is Angel Bunny here. Hi, Angel. What's that you've got there? Oh, it's a note. Let's see here. Adventuring tips for beginners. Should I read this? I could use some advice. Uh, I have not, unlike Pony Fantasy VI, I know absolutely nothing about this game, so I'm going completely blind into this. I could use some pointers before I head to town. You never know what could be out there. Let's see what it says here. Tip number one, you can save from anywhere on the map as long as you aren't in the fight or talking to someone. Remember to save often. Tip number two, use your skills to your advantage. For instance, Flourish I can heal herself and her friends. Just keep an eye on your magic point meter since using special abilities drains your MP. Tip number three, if you find new equipment, be sure to equip it from the menu. It won't do you any good if you're not wearing it. Tip number four, have fun and be yourself. Thanks, Angel. Those tips will definitely come in handy if I run into trouble. I've got to go now. Have a nice day, sweetie. Really? Angel is so out of character here. Or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe he's perfectly in character. I'm not too sure. Also, uh, I am aware that uh, Fluttershy's house doesn't look uh, like uh, her house at all in this uh, RPG experience here. But uh, even so, still, gotta know about those limited resources and everything. These yellow and blue flowers symbolize our love. Or something like that. You got something to say about everything, don't you, Fluttershy? Are there bits in here? Oh, I can't even check the barrel? I can check the flowers, but I can't check the barrel! Game ruined! Oh, I can check the logs door. Uh, dope. I'm still mourning the poor trees who have sacrificed their lives to get me this firewood. Your sacrifices will not have been in vain, my wooden friends. What about the barrel, Flushai? Nothing to say about the barrel? The barrel is made of trees too. Ugh. What about the water? Maybe she has something to say about the water? Nope. Well, let's just proceed further in this game. Let's actually get some stuff done before, uh... Ah, uh, yes, a world map. This is kind of neat. Uh, Cabalus, Equilus Island, something like that. This looks suspicious, but I can't get, go into it. Oh, well. Uh, I suppose there's gonna be random battles uh, in this game. Maybe, maybe not. There are some RPG Maker VX games that uh, don't have random battles. Which is kind of cool. cool. Oh my goodness, it's some type of horrible monster! It's actually a dark-skinned pony with a red outline, uh, Flourish Eye. Nothing to be afraid of. Twist Goo appears! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness! Okay, Flourish Eye, you can do this. You just have to hit them a few times and then they'll go away. A and if you get hurt, you can just heal yourself with first aid! Let's get this over with. Uh, yeah, Flush Eye only has first aid, which is actually pretty cheap considering how much uh, magic points she already has. So let's just attack Twista Goo. Ready! Flush Eye attacks! 
twist attacks in. Wow, she really doesn't deal that much damage. Twister Goo is the Kumba of this game, man. Wow. Somehow, Twister Goo managed to dodge one of Plush Eye's attacks. One more hit and she'll be done. Twister Goo has been defeated. Are they gone? Oh boy, treasure! Oh boy, stock lines for after the battle is over, I believe. I don't know why Flesh Eye is living in these uh, floating islands, by the way. This is not kept part of the canon of uh, Equestria, as far as I know. Uh, north, Ponnet Town, East, Ponnet Inn, Ferris, and West, Flesh Eye's Cottage. Of course! Uh, let's start with Ponnet Town, I suppose. Because it's a secluded and uh, mountainous area right here. Just gonna check around first, because uh, that's how I am. And enter from behind. Of course, uh, the game will assume you entered in front anyway. Anyway, what's this? Bookstore? That's what it seems. Or, well, it just says book, so maybe it's just a giant book. I probably shouldn't barge into Twilight's house when I haven't been invited over. Really? Twilight's house? Shouldn't it say Twilight instead? Oh well. The town's wishing well! I shall come back here with Rainbow. And there's a shop here. Maybe I can go inside this. I guess this sign means this shop is where... Really? Come on, Fluttershy, you're smarter than this. I mean, I know I've been gone through all the tutorials and everything, and this game has been... Really? We aren't ready yet. Come back tomorrow for the official grand opening. Well, so much for buying stuff here. I guess it's uh, led by the Cutie Mark Crusaders, I bet. Oh, and here's Rarity. Hi, Rarity. How have you been lately? Oh, Fluttershy, I'm doing well. I was hoping I'd seen you today. I thought it feels as if we haven't spoken in ages. But I suppose you're looking for Rainbow Dash right now. We can continue this conversation later. How did you know I was looking for Rainbow? Darling, you're always thinking about Rainbow Dash. You're thinking about her right now, aren't you? Flourishai, snap out of it. I don't even know why I'm wasting my breath right now. You can't hear a word I'm saying as long as you're thinking about her. Flourishai, where are you going? Don't just walk away from... Uh, I suppose this was uh, being a joke dialogue, but I hope this one doesn't happen too often. Oh no, a danger sign. I guess we better not go over here. Or maybe I'll get an instant game over. I better save again, actually. I don't know what to expect about this game at all. And I think... Huh. Well, this is strange. I was sure I was uh, going to be able to enter the tent, but I guess not. Rarity is in their tent right now. Oh, wait, so... No. Okay, so basically this tent is uh, completely not there. Let's just ignore it and s uh, forget all about it. Uh, something else, by the way, guys. I had a lot of difficulty downloading this game, so I'll be putting a custom link for you guys to download this game from instead of the author's uh, actual uh, link he gave me. Uh, that being said, I'll still link to the author's homepage because I uh, made this game and all that. Uh, I think it's a he. After all, the name is Bobby Shirt or something like that. Also, Rainbow's Place. It doesn't look nearly as cool as her actual canon home. Hey! Oh, I mean, uh, hey babe, how's it hanging? Rainbow, you don't have to hide your enthusiasm. I think it's nice. Well, I was just excited because I haven't seen you in ages. I miss hanging out with you, you know. I know, I missed you too. I'm so sorry, Rainbow. I just gonna leave my poor little animal friends these past two weeks. Mr. Bear got sick and then Froggy the Frog caught what Mr. Bear has somehow and I don't even know how Froggy the Frog caught it since he's an amphibian and before I knew it, half my animals were sick. That sounds pretty awful. Yes, thanks to me, they're all better now and that means I finally have the day off. And I was hoping you'd have something in mind for the two of us to do together. You mean like kissing? Heck yeah! Heck nah. Uh, no time for experience, I'm just gonna say heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, I figured uh, there'd be comedy uh, reaction right there. Hey, I've got a better idea. What? Let's go on a date. You mean right now? Yeah, why not? Let's go do something fun. Well, okay. Just calling it a date doesn't exactly give us anything particular to do, dear. I don't know, we'll figure something out. Let's just wander around and find something to do, I guess. Your girlfriend, Rainbow Dash, joined you. Hmm, so Flourish High is the actual main character of this game? Hmm, kind of weird. Also, uh, Earthbound-style uh, party following behind you thing. 
Let's see, uh, let's see all the equipment and stuff, uh, all our characters have, actually. Can't equip anything. And Bordash is naked as well. And, oh, also, uh, Fluttershy is a pony paladin. And Rainbow Dash is fast. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Rainbow Dash's sk is, skill is Kiss Fluttershy. And it's it's actually a Kiss member. Uh, what's his name? The main... Uh, Ah, words. You all know who he is, and for those of you who don't, uh, look him up. Look Kiss up on Google. Uh, Rainbow Dash has less HP than Fluttershy. Hmm, strange. And less magic points, too. Rainbow Dash is inferior to Fluttershy in many ways. Kind of weird. Well, that's Rainbow and me. Yeah, I like that photo, too, but who are you talking to, babe? Oh, was I talking to myself again? Yep. Oh, sorry, Rainbow. I don't know what's up with me today. I just can't stop talking to myself every time I walk up to a vaguely interesting object. It's okay, babe. Everyone talks to themselves from time to time, you know. For example, I talk to myself in the mirror every morning. Really? Yeah, every morning I stare at myself in the mirror and repeat the phrases, You are hardcore! And you are radical! To myself about ten times to get myself ready for the day. I don't know how you never notice me doing that every morning. Well, I guess I learn something new every day. What are you looking my for in my closet, babe? There's nothing there but some clothes and junk. Huh? Oh, what am I doing looking into your closet? Sorry, Imbo, I must have spaced out. Hey, don't sweat it. I'm gonna look through all your room, Rainbow Dash. It's actually pretty bare, to be honest. Thorshai's cottage uh, was a lot bigger than this. Well, that's... Can I look here? Say, Rainbow, I was wondering. Why is your sofa facing the wall? I'm making a statement or something. Ah, uh, same thing again. Well, that's pretty much it for Rainbow's room. It's kind of small. Uh, these yellow and blue flowers symbolize our love or something like that. Uh, same thing as before. Uh, actually, seems Rainbow may ha have a basement. Let's check it out. Oh, Twilight's down here. What's in here? Found two eaters. Gnarly. Uh, the game is playing a bit slowly right now because crap sucks. Uh, I don't even remember what's in these boxes. Let's see if there's something cool in there. Rainbow, don't you know what's in your own basement? Do I look like a nerd who does dumb stuff like remembering things to you, babe? Found two potions. Tubular! Okay, uh, the comedy of this game is kind of, uh, not as high quality as I was expecting. But it's not too bad right now. We're just starting up. Anyway, Twilight. Twilight, what? When did you get in my basement? Why does my basement look like a dungeon all of a sudden? How and when when I got How and when I got here isn't important. The point is your basement's a needle dungeon now! Oh dear. Why? Why would you do this? I had cool stuff down here! Like power tools and whatnot! Just because you're the princess of town doesn't mean you can royally screw up my basement! But it's better now! You see, as the princess of friendship, I have a duty to teach everyone valuable lessons about interpersonal relationships. So I made this dungeon, and Rainbow's is, Rainbow's is the only house in Ponnet with a basement, so this was the easiest place to start building it. And now we get to explore it, together, as best friends! It'll be great! What? That doesn't sound fun at all! That doesn't sound scary and stressful! Exactly! Twilight, I don't think you have a firm grasp on the concept of friendship just yet. It'll be a bonding experience. How about a bond my right hook with your... Rainbow, please don't get violent. Sorry, babe. I was waiting for the rest of our friends to get here first, but you know what? We can handle this on our own. It'll be just the three of us on a fun field dungeon adventure. I'm still not sure this is safe. Come on, what's the worst good that could happen? Twilight dooms the universe. <laughs> You're not gonna let us turn down your offer, are you, Twilight? Nope! You know, we're kind of on a date or whatever. More or less. Do you really want to be a third wheel, Twilight? I'd be okay with that. Twilight Sparkle, join your party as the third wheel. Of course! So I guess uh, Twilight's the, like, uh, second best uh, pairing for Dash or Fluttershy or something? Okay, but fair warning, I could start making it on my girl at any time. 
It's one of our skills, really. It's not like you two haven't gotten all affectionate around me before. Honestly, it's no big deal. Like really going to town. She's apparently driven by impulse. It can and will happen when you least expect it, Twilight. Whatever floats your love boat. Some real hardcore, some real hardcore tonsil hockey if you catch my drift. You two are making a much bigger deal out of it than I ever would. Just so you know. Here we go. Swapping spit. I get it, Rainbow. Planting a big smacker. Okay. Smooching. Face sucking. Locking lips. Puckering up. Watching submarine races. Can we just go already? That took a long time. Well, let's just go ahead and do this dungeon. Also, I think it's actually Princess Twilight from post season 3, surprisingly enough. This is version 1.2 of this game, so I think it was actually released only recently as a full version anyway. Anyway, twist the goo again. Uh, let's just fight. Rainbow, you can do... Actually, I yeah, better show uh, Kiss Fluttershy right now. Oh, wait. Actually, there's a description right there. Give Fluttershy a little peck on the cheek to boost morale and raise all her stats by 15% for 5 turns. That sounds like a skill that can be useful all the way to the end game. In Twilight, she has Scorch, a pretty basic fire attack. Targets one enemy. Let's Scorch twist the goo bee. Ready! Rainbow attempts to kiss Fluttershy. Rainbow gives Fluttershy a kiss on the cheek. Fluttershy is infatuated. Uh, all her stats are boosted. Twisted Goo B has been defeated by Twilight, and Fluttershy attacks uh, Twisted Goo 1. Twisted Goo A! Uh, let's just proceed further. Uh, I can understand why some of these uh, RPG Maker uh, VX uh, fights can be really boring, so I might actually skip them around uh, much later in the game when they really start to get repetitive. Anyway, are they gone? Oh boy, treasure! Can I switch around my party, actually? I can't. Oh well. Oh, uh, now uh, Fluttershy has the ability to kiss Rainbow. Which is basically the same skill as uh, Rainbow Dash's uh, skill, but uh, now that I think about it, that kind of makes uh, Rainbow Dash extremely weak. You're out of shape, Rainbow Dash. You're the one who should be uh, buffing up. Also, this is an extremely basic dungeon. I gotta complain about that right now. Let's just attack multiple times right now. Wow, critical hit. Maybe you're not as weak as I expected, Rainbow. So from uh, what it looks like, actually Rainbow has a lot of a, has a huge uh, offensive uh, attack and she's also the fastest of all the ponies. So I guess I misjudged Rainbow. I'm just glad that's over. Oh boy, treasure! Did I take all of that stuff actually? Also, what's that thing over there? Guess I better heal for the time being. First aid. There we go. Hey you. Oh, you're just a generic enemy? An actual generic enemy. Even though that uh, sprite looked completely different from these Twister Goos, that was a completely generic enemy. In fact, uh, Twister Goo so far has been the only enemy we have ever fought and it's had three different uh, overworld quote unquote sprites. That's kind of a huge lack of consistency right there. Yeah, Rainbow Dash seems to be extremely good when it comes to... Oh jeez, now Twilight's the one who said comments and I completely missed them. Oh well, neato. Guess we'll see them uh, sometime later. Also, great dungeon level design. You know, this dumb adventure is kind of fun, I guess. I get to hit things. I'm glad you're enjoying this experience. Um, Twilight? Yes, Fluttershy? Is this basement dungeon just one long, perfectly straight path? Of course not. That won't be an adventure at all. It seems like a straight line to me. Well, it isn't. Okay, I was just checking. Let's keep going then. Well, I'm guessing there's going to be lots of self-awareness uh, in this experience. Can I fight you? Oh, super twister goo! <laughs> Let's kiss Rainbow. Flushai attempts to kiss Rainbow. Flushai gives Rainbow a kiss on the cheek. Rainbow is infatuated. Stats boosted by 15%. <laughs> I can't get over how stupid that thing looks. Like <laughs> It's like my first drawing at uh, doing something, uh, whatever. Super Twisted Girl has been defeated. Are they gone? Oh boy, treasure. So far this seemed... That's pretty much been a really relaxing experience. Not that there's anything wrong with that. 
Found 10 bits, seriously? I found lots more stuff like that. Really, Twilight? Only 10 bits. We're making more money finding these monsters and I don't even know where that cash is coming from. Building a dungeon is expensive. That's all I had left to put in the chest. Twilight, are you saying you spent all your life savings? Until Princess, Princess Celeste sends me my allowance? Yes! Was it really worth it? We're having fun, aren't we? Well, that's one word for it. Look, okay, have a, here's a spare potion I was keeping in case of emergencies. Happy now? Got a potion. Some monsters and a weird uh, eyeball tentacle thing. Twister, who appears? Let's attack them repeatedly. Yeah, we won with the power of friendship. Neato. Hmm. So apparently, I'm guessing the, the comments on the, based on the ponies in our party are, is based on the actual the enemy sprite we fight, because so far it's been consistent that way. Okay, what about you? Oh no! Twistagoo and Super Twistagoo! Let's fight them repeatedly, uh, but Twilight's gonna get serious and try to scorch Super Twistagoo. Because really, Rainbow attacks! Twilight, Crast, Scorch! Which is totally not a ripoff animation from Earthbound! To be quite frank, I kinda wish this game, uh, the actual fighting engine was a lot more like Earthbound. Earthbound, uh, it kind of, uh, like, uh, it implemented the engine of, uh, let's say, uh, Dragon Quest really, really well. Like, uh, put a neat twist on it while still keeping it uh, basically the same. I kicked so many things! Tubular! And let's heal. I'm surprised that uh, kissing uh, your kissing ponies uh, doesn't heal the other. See? This is the turn! It isn't just a strain line at all! The turn? Is there only one? It's all my budget I had room for. But hey, it isn't just one perfectly straight line! Twilight, I swear to god. Oh man, it's an old man sprite. Which kind of looks uh, really uh, cliched. And it's a monster! Super Twist of Goo! Let's attack repeatedly. Oh no, Flourish, I got blinded. Whatever will I do? Hmm. Rainbow Dash, kiss. No, actually, I wonder what will happen if I. If uh, Flourish, I, and Rainbow try to kiss each other at the same turn. Meanwhile, actually, I don't want Twilight to insta kill that Twisted Grid here. Flourish, I attempts to kiss Rainbow. Got the kiss. Ah, uh, nothing special. I was kind of hoping something special would happen, guys. But whatever. Rainbow attacks. It's tubular. I'm just glad that's over. Level up. Oh, look. I leveled up. That's nice. Uh, wow. We got a huge boost of HP. Uh, we attacked and get... Well, actually, uh, relatively, attack got boosted pretty decently. Reticule. Yeah. Rainbow Dash has a huge uh, attack lead over Fluttershine and Twilight. And her agility is top tier. Wow, 999. Cool beans. Skills learned, nap time. Oh boy, treasure. Uh, let's quickly look up uh, twice for skill. Nap time. Makes one enemy take a nap. 90% success rate. Really? It shares a 90% success rate, not like totally ineffective against bosses if there are any in this game. It's not that expensive either. Also, Twilight is definitely a pretty pony princess. Oh, I forgot! I forgot! Get ready for a big tussle, you two! Twilight, did you see you just used the word tussle to describe fighting monsters in a dungeon? Are you just trying to sap every last drop of enjoyment out of this experience for me? Okay, I heard you loud and clear. Jeez. Get ready for a boss fight then. Does that wording please you, Rainbow? It's an improvement over Tussle, that's for sure. We have to fight a boss? Two bosses, actually. Two monsters that are more powerful than everything else we've faced so far. Well, let's get this over with. Yeah, we're gonna go kick their butts. Okay, I completely forgot that. 
we can run in this game. Hold shift, the uh, left shift button to run. But, uh... <laughs> a horse. Let's beat the horse. Twister Goo 2 appears! And it's got some nice music going on. Uh, let's start the fight not kissing each other. Attack aggressively. Also, nap time for Twister Goo B. Ready! Rainbow attacks. Ah, cool. It, it worked. Hmm, uh, Twister Goo 2 doesn't have too... Isn't too bad in terms of attack power, that's for sure. Scorch! I do it. I do think uh, the game maker was trying to get like a uh, Earthbound-esque uh, backgrounds here, considering the one that is currently like uh, in right now. But the fact it's a static image kind of ruins the whole thing. Huh, strange. Attacking enemies does not wake them up. Ah, well, okay, sometimes it will apparently. Just one more round and we're done with you, Twister Goo. Radical! Rainbow Dash is not a bad pony at all. Also, another level up. Really, I'm just glad that's over. And yeah, Flush has lots of HP. Rainbow Dash has... Wow, her magic power and magic defense haven't improved at all. I feel like I've really grown from this experience. Skills learned Frost. Hmm. Also, we've got some Iron Horseshoes. I guess I better check my equipment now. Oh, hey, let's stop this video right here. Uh, sorry, guys, but uh, the very first video I recorded for this game ended up being over 50 minutes long. And I think uh, for your conveniences, I'm going to split this video in two so that you guys don't have to waste uh, too much time of your day watching this uh, intro to me playing this game. Uh, yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all have a very nice day. Next time, part two of video one. See you then.